In this section, we're going to talk about the cache drawer. To get to the cache drawer, you'll click Manage and Cache Drawer. That will take you to this screen. Each morning before you start your workday, you'll go to the cache drawer and you'll count the amount of bills in your cache drawer and enter those in the fields here. Notice you don't enter the amount of money for each, you just enter the amount of bills for each denomination and the software does the math for you. To properly balance the cache drawer at the end of the day, you need to count all the cash and record it at the beginning of each day. Each cash transaction throughout the day is automatically recorded. The cash drawer's function is solely to balance your cash drawer at the end of each day. Let me show you how it works. Let's click on Jenny's appointment here and we will collect her payment. I'm going to add a tip of $25 and then she's going to pay in cash. Now Jenny's ticket is closed and we'll go back to the cash drawer and take a look. You can see that Jenny's payment has been listed under the tendered section and the subtotal in the cash drawer is $105.63 more than our opening balance. You'll notice that there is a paid in and a paid out row as well. Paid in will be any cash that you add to the cash drawer that is not a tendered payment. Let's say you're low on $5 bills and you go to the bank and get 20 more $5 bills. You'll go to Tickets, Payments In, and you'll add $100 to your cash drawer. Now you can see under Closed Tickets that a payment of $100 has been added to your cash drawer. And if you go back to your cash drawer, you'll see that there's 100 additional dollars in your cash drawer. Let's say you have a leaky shampoo bowl and a plumber comes out to fix the leak and you want to pay him from the cash drawer. You'll go to Tickets, Payments Out, and you'll pay him using the cash from your cash drawer. Now the payment to the plumber has been added, and if you go back to your cash drawer, you'll see that in the Payments Out section, and the cash drawer has been updated. The next thing that you'll want to consider is tips. If you've set up the software to keep tips in the cash drawer, then nothing further needs to be done. If, however, you've set up your business where employees pull their tips out of the cash drawer, You'll want to make sure that under Basic Settings, and under Business Settings, and then under Settings, you have Keep Trips in Drawer set to No. In this case, the software will know that your employees are taking the amount of their tips out of the cash drawer, and they will subtract that amount from the balance so that your cash drawer stays balanced. At the end of each day, you'll come back to this screen, recount all the bills in your cash drawer, and see if your cash drawer balances. When your cash drawer balances, you'll click Close Drawer. The software will record that your drawer has been closed and that your cash drawer balances. And the next morning, your beginning cash should match your drawer amount from the previous day.